So new fork arrived today. It's a Buckles, Buckles, Bucklows. <laughs> Made in China, one of those Chinese ear forks that you can get on Amazon. Not a whole lot of information that I could find on them, but they have a good variety. You can get them in 27.5, in 29er. The good thing is for people that are upgrading older bikes or budget bikes is that they actually come with a quick release, non-boost quick release, 9 millimeter dropouts. So they're ideal for those newer Schwins like the aluminum comp, the TAF, the Boundary, the Axum. These will fit right in. So at least there's some, some new options up there. All right, let's see what we get. It feels light, by the way. You know, first thing I noticed when I picked up the box is how light it felt. All right, so like I said, it's the one with the remote lockout. So the main reason I got the one with the lockout was because the one that doesn't have, well, not with the lockout, but with the remote lockout, the one with the manual lockout has that orange coating. It's supposed to be like a Kashima imitation, but every picture I see looks so ugly. It's like an orange color. So I wanted the black. So that's the only reason I got this. Now let's see if there's anything else in the box. So other things to note with this is there are absolutely no instructions with this. And then you do have a guide there kind of to set your air pressure, but it's best to just kind of estimate it and then adjust it based on your sag. So this is the lockout lever and it's aluminum. It actually feels rather nice. Another thing I'm noticing is that that cable is way longer than it needs to be because you know this should be up here you're and look at all that excess cable what i'm thinking again there's no instructions is that i'm going to have to pop that cap off and thread it through the outside i don't know if you can see that there there's a hole in the back and cut the excess cable the stanchions feel nice and smooth there are markings on it the markings are smooth. I think I read somewhere where it seemed like they were engraved and they were worried about the wipers getting worn out because of it. It's kind of like a matte black finish. Some people were comparing them to the Suntour. Suntour has a very smooth, very shiny finish. So it's uh, that's a little different. But here's the rebound control that is also appears different than what you would see on your Suntour fork. Got the stickers and uh, I think it's curious that it says, it actually specifies that these are removable. So yeah, the stickers, you can actually peel them off if you want. And I'll probably go ahead and take that one off. It's not even, it's not even stuck on there very well. We got the air Schrader valve there. So where the cable inserts for the lockout, it, it seems a little, I think it's plastic. This is aluminum. This does click and it's a, uh, you can hear that. It's a little loose. Let's see if we can compress it. Oh my God. No, we can't. <laughs> there you go. Actually it feels really smooth. So I'm going to put this on my, on my Venso bike. Right now I have a fork with a straight steer tube in it. Cool thing is that my Venso is a 44 millimeter headset. So I just changed the headset and I can put a tapered fork on it. So one of those cool things about those 44 millimeter head tubes. So I just bought this one, <laughs> cheap one. I'll put a link to it on, uh, the description there this one says riding is my life so can't wait to install this take it out on the trail compare it to my suntour xcr32 and these do seem to be 32 millimeter stanchions also and see how it goes so give it a thumbs up subscribe so you can follow the progress on this thing thanks for watching